I, I woke up today at 3.30, 3.24 in the morning. I woke up at 4, but I tried, I was trying not to get up out of the bed. I was going to show you something that I got up and I went to, I came to this room and started looking for and it's this, this, this one is a book that I started to make years ago. And it says Psalms, Prayers, and My Heart Desires for You, Jeffrey, my son. Your mom, te amo, which is I love you in Spanish. And here it says, life is good no matter what. So here I started to write like that, like a psalm, you know, and highlight the most important parts of the psalm. And then follow up by a letter, by a letter to him. And the letter was in relationship to that psalm. And the reason why I started writing this to Jeffrey was because I wanted that when I die, that he still listen to my voice. <laughs> that he still listen words of wisdom. And that in the in the moments that he was going to encounter hard moments in life that he had a, a guide that I left behind for him to find counseling from his mother. Almost about every aspect of life. Now I wake up and I read them to myself. This doesn't happen all the time. Like I said, yesterday was a very profitable day. My husband, George, and I met with the Congress woman here in Texas. We had a great meeting. We're going to have many meetings more. This last week, it was a great week. I was very, very busy working diligently in goals that I placed before me. Goals that little by little, hopefully, I can be sharing with you. Things are in motion, but are things that are not concrete yet. And I don't want to speak before time. But there are other days like this. And it's important for me to do this because there's a lot of people that go through hard stuff. And I just want to let you know that you're not alone. Um, the faithful people of God also feel this way from time to time we go through the valley of death and sorrow even when the lord is going through the valley 
of dead and sorrow with us. One of these days I was asking, you know that stupid question of the wise, of the wise, what if, what if, the wise, wise. And suddenly I started thinking about, well, Jeffrey, Left, is that right? Left, Jeffrey left. I have the certainty of where he is in the kingdom of God the Father. Jeffrey was a Christian for one second, a slip away, and God gave him all the consciousness and the awareness and all of you have witnessed three videos and shorts how Jeffrey worshiped the Lord. So I know where he is. There is a big distance between him and I. I don't know how long I'm gonna be here on earth. <sighs> but, then, but then I saw <laughs> you know, I have a friend They have two daughters, beautiful girls. For a decade, 10 years plus, have been lost in the demonic world of drugs. I see her daily struggle and what she goes through and the things that she has to face almost in a daily basis. And it's so hard. And I think Thank you, Lord, that you stop very, very, very quickly. What could have happened with Jeffrey? And thank you, Lord, that you, you rescued him. You brought him back to you and you took him. And now he's under your full custody. No evil can come close to him. But then I think about another person. I think about my brother and his two kids. And I see his two kids becoming incredible, successful, both just graduated from college, both entering into his masters, both still living at home with them, very close, close, close family. My nephew started already working with my brother in his company. My niece, is so happy starting working at the same time that he's gonna start her master in a place she studying uh, she studies psychologists for autistic and Down syndrome kids and she loves that wonderful kids 
And I think. And <laughs> they won. If Jeffrey was in the path that I promise you I have never I have never in my life see witness someone close to me walk that close with God be so pure in every aspect and suddenly suddenly I have served the Lord for for like 20 years and I I lost my two kids and I ask specifically about Jeffrey why 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 you took him instead of healing him completely because we saw 17 ridiculous supernatural natural out of the question miracles <clears throat> for a second this is so important you to hear this for a second everything was quiet and suddenly I heard a male voice inside here, inside of me and inside my ears. Firm, no mad, no angry, but firm. And with compassion, with a lot of compassion, but firm strong male voice and he said do you want to know why do you want to know why why because he was his reward he was it was his reward and i was in shock it was a complete silence after that and when it that voice spoke it carried out the full meaning of a sentence like a book like a complete book in meaning and he meant this it's not that i could not finish the job it's not that i could not finish healing him it's that to come here to cross the line from that realm to this realm where I am is to have left that realm so corrupted by mankind and bring him here to holy ground is a reward. And that doesn't mean that we can work out our salvation in the sense that we have to, that we have, can do good things and good deeds to 
purchased our salvation, our salvation ourselves. It's a gift. Gift is by grace through faith. As the book of Ephesians and Paul the Apostle explained so well, and Jesus Christ as well. But it is a reward, he said, to come here. In other words, he was telling me, you need to understand this, that the decision I made has brought to Jeffrey all the goodness, all the privilege, all the perfection, the wonders that you could have ever dreamed for Jeffrey and things that you don't even know. So stop being selfish because it was his reward to be here. And I just want to leave you with that, with that thought. Bye. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to me.